so we're down to BL. Everybody loves BL. Yeah, BL. Okay, so BL is basically your force factor, your motor, motor force. It is the magnetic flux density in and around the gap combined with the current carrying loops of wire. Um, I've got notes here. Yeah. In the magnetic field at any given time. You know, so it definitely tells you how strong your motor is and how well it's going to, of a job it's going to do of uh, driving the speaker. Now, in the uh, early 2000s, there was a, a bunch of uh, Me Too woofer companies using monster motors and no throw. <laughs> what was that about? It looks cool. <laughs> you know, it looks big and beefy. And so, you know, there, there's some appeal there. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So it was, it, was, uh, it was like buying a car with a beautiful paint job and great rims, and it got a little tiny motor in it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so motor strength, that's, uh, that's an important one. Now, yeah. um, I, I, uh, I always like to talk about the Solo X because it's just a fantastic driver. What kind of motor strength are, can we talk about the kind of motor strength? Yeah, strength? you know, I don't have any spe uh, specs on it, yeah. but the, uh, it's high. Yeah. Uh, the BL is high yeah. on those drivers. Uh, like our 12-inch uh, Q-Series L7, it's probably got a BL of somewhere between 18 and 21. I think the Solo X is, now don't quote me on this. Yeah, this is preliminary. Um, but I think they're somewhere up around 35 on the BL. <laughs> so, so, it's a lot. Which isn't, you know, for a big bass woofer, that's, that's pretty standard. Yeah, you know? wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay, QMS. Okay, QMS is the mechanical Q factor. Uh, of the driver in a free air application. QES is the electrical Q factor of the driver in a free air application. And those two things combine to give you your total Q. So QMS and QES are basically how well is the driver damped. When you send that signal to the driver and that signal stops, how well does the driver stop? Mm -hmm. Uh, because the better it does, the better damped it's going to be, and the mm -hmm. better your transients is going to be. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. It's how well damped it is. It's, like, it's unlike one of these uh, old vehicles that you see driving down the road. They hit a bump, the <laughs> suspension dips, and then it just keeps going. <laughs> yes. that, that would be poor QES <laughs> and QMS, or, or, or poor total Q. Yeah, right. uh, in a woofer, what would happen is you would have overhang on the notes. The notes would ring out. They yes. wouldn't stop when they needed to. The bass wouldn't be as crisp and clean yeah. as you want it to be. And so that's what Q is all about. So let's say hypothetically you wanted to build a really fantastic one-note system. You would want uh, a poor damped subwoofer? Not necessarily. I mean, you, you might still want it damped well, but there's other things that you can do to make it a one-note. Okay. whether it's okay. a, the application or just the woofer itself. Okay. But okay. you can definitely manipulate the application to make a, a, a woofer a one-note wonder. You know, back in the day, people are using um, a lot of bandpass enclosures, yes. fourth orders and sixth orders these days. But yeah. when we were first doing big SPL back in the day, mm -hmm. we were using, you know, all the woofers on one side, mm -hmm. the big, huge port uh, on the other, and uh, that's what was giving us a ton of output back then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you've got here in the notes 0.4 to 0 0.7. Yeah, so this is just another rule of thumb. I'm glad you brought that up because I probably would have forgot that. Um, so as a rule of thumb, if a speaker is at a Q, total Q, the QTS, of 0.4 or below, it's going to be best for a vented enclosure. If it's between 0.4 and 0.7, it's going to be best for a sealed enclosure. And if it's at 0.7 or above, it's going to be best in free air. Now, again, that's just a rule of thumb because you can fall outside of these ranges and put it in the, mm -hmm. you know, the application not specified for that range and have really, really, really good results. Mm -hmm. so, and most of our woofers you can use in a sealed enclosure, in a ported enclosure, in a band pass, mm -hmm. and a few even in free air. So, yeah. 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 so you know, we, we try to kind of manufacture a do-all woofer, uh, very versatile as far as the application you want to put it in.